definitely hear echoes as I'm walking here from Allen Ginsberg, who would have been here if he could, I'm sure, and Mary Morocco as well. So, two amazing forces for freedom. Okay. So, um, I'm, I call this outcry against Trump's world. I turn over the face of America and look, and look into the eyes of its bigotry. I pick the nose of America and try to understand its misogyny. I pick the nose of America and find savagery and not the voices of public and private lesbians who reside not in madness, but where we hold the true vision of America and meet to demand change and a deeper introspection into the nature of racial and gender equality. So then, let us dream of decay over a decaf, hang out at Pret a Manger, or pond with chocolate. swallowing dog day afternoons. Instead of marching in one office and out another, brandishing invisible swords and buttons that say, resist. Hi, Judith Molina. And speak of the deritus, the treatise, sorry, of silence. To be an anarchist then is to be as welcome as a cage to a monkey, or homeless to the mayor, the homeless who live in sewers under the glare of city lights, and when turned off, the mole people come out from their manholes looking for a handout from the wealthy. A necessary Strapped down, drugged, we are all these until we cross over, drop down under the city, running between the tracks, falling wherever the tracks are missing. Money is the cause of all our evils. Money never has to take a sandwich for lunch. Money, money never cries, puts up with, or stretches. Money never set, finds itself silly. Money never has to become arrogant or loving or go gray. Money is, oh God, 